Okay, this is a little bit of an aside, but what I'd like to do is have uh, some PVC pipe uh, components to work with uh, for the uh, house model, and so I thought I would show how to make one. This is in some ways an exercise in making components as well. Uh, so I'm going to focus in on the origin here. Uh, PVC pipe is, uh, I'm going to use a, a half inch PVC, which is a 0.84 uh, inch outer diameter and then something like half an inch inner diameter, but not exactly. So I'm going to use my circle tool. I'll start at the origin and I want it to be 0.84 inches diameter. Uh, what I have here is the radius, and so it's a 0 0.42. 0 0.42 inches is what I'll write. We'll zoom into there, and I'm going to make another circle. This circle is a uh, half inch, or rather, quarter inch radius. There. Remove the inner part, and so this is the uh, wall of our pipe. And I'm going to extrude out a little bit, a uh, quarter inch, just to make a little pipe segment. And this is all you really need for your uh, for your component. So I'm going to highlight all of it. Go to Entity Info, and I'm going to take the these parts here, the surfaces and the edges, and I'm going to put them into a different layer. We'll open our Layer tool. I'm going to make a layer that's called Plumbing. There. Under Entity Info, I'll place everything in the Plumbing layer. There's a reason for this. So. Now each of these surfaces, each of the edges, it belongs to plumbing. I'll highlight it again, right click, and tell it to make a component. I'll call this PVC um, Schedule 40 uh, 1 half inch dash 3D. 0 0.84 inch outer diameter. Glue to, I don't want it to glue to anything, we'll go over that sometime later. I do want to set the axes. As you can see, the axes on this component are set way out here, which I don't want. I want the axis to be here at the origin. That is, on the bottom surface of my uh, piece here, and in the center of the circle. So if I tell it to set the axes, I can put this here at the origin click once, I'll click twice. Tell it to create. And so now I have this component. This component, if I remove the plumbing layer, the component is invisible. I can bring it back now. And so I want to save this component someplace, and so I'll right click on it and do a save as and find some place for it. You could save it anywhere if you wanted to save it in your uh, SketchUp components library. You can go to Drive C or wherever it is, Program Files, uh, Google, uh, SketchUp 8, Components. I could place it in there. I have a folder that I've called Custom. I could put it inside there. I've already got one, really. Or I could save it some other location. But this component now, um, once I've saved it, I can then pull it in uh, using my components window here. Or I can you know, do, it, do it some other way. Another way to make a custom component, by the way, okay, so let's explode this. So now it's no longer a component. It's made up of its individual parts. The individual parts still belong in the plumbing layer, like that. I can take this file and I can just save it. I'll give it a name. PVC Schedule 40 1 half inch 
dash 3D. I'll put it in my desktop. I'm going to now make a new SketchUp uh, uh, document. I can go to File, Tell to Import. import a SketchUp file, this one. Whoops, I forgot that she's there. Well, that's not what I want, definitely. Let's come back here, save changes now. Yep, there's Susan. I have to remove her. So I'll resave this, make a new document. Let's try this again. Okay, so file, import, a SketchUp file, this SketchUp file here. And if we zoom way in, eventually you'll see, ah, there's our, our little piece of pipe there. Okay, so a quarter inch piece of pipe is not terribly useful, but the thing is that I can take this pipe and I can rescale it using my scaling tool along this blue axis here and I can make it as long as I want. And as you can see my pipe there we go is hollow going all the way to the bottom. Another way that I can import this as a, oh, by the way, it is it is showing up as a component now, as you can see. Another way that I can import this component is I can I can find it in my file manager there. And I can simply drag it in like this. And there it is. The same thing. And it, this will also still show up as a component here in my components library. It's the same one, and so that's why it's uh, uh, not listed separately. But in any case, the thing is there, and it has all the characteristics you'd expect of a component is still its uh, constituent parts are still part of the plumbing layer but what's interesting about this component is that if we look in entity info the component itself belongs in layer 0 the layer in which I had just placed it so I can in fact make a new layer here new piece there we go. I can place the component in the new piece layer. There we are. So now, we'll get rid of her for now. If I turn off visibility for plumbing, both plumbing components go away because their individual parts are part of the plumbing layer. If I turn off the new piece layer visibility, then only this part goes away. So it is simultaneously part of the new piece layer. It is simultaneously part of the new piece layer and the plumbing layer uh, because the individual parts are in the plumbing layer, the component itself is in new piece. Okay, so we looked at making a component. There is yet another way to do this which you might find to be easier and more fruitful which is that you can go to the SketchUp 3D Warehouse SketchUpGoogle.com 3D Warehouse and you can run a search for PVC pipe and you'll find all these different results here a pontoon boat made of PVC pipe reducing T fittings made by Alibre Incorporated this is a company that makes uh, uh, a 3D modeling software apparently they have um, 
placed their models on the 3D warehouse as well. Uh, this person, Mintaka, whoever that is, has been kind enough to make a whole set of PVC pipes, four through one half inch PVC, and also Schedule 40 PVC pipe fittings. So if we were to click on here, then you can see that there are a whole set of fittings here elbows and T's and connectors and such like and these things you can download into your model. Well, what I'll do is I will save the file drop it in here and there they are. You'll notice that because I have imported this file and because it's made up of multiple parts everything in that file shows up as a single group and so I actually need to take this group here and I need to explode it and so now it's made up of its individual components. Does that really show up as a component? Let's see. Yes, there they are. Uh, 45 degree, half inch, three quarter inch, one, one and a quarter, and so on. All these different pieces of PVC. And what's really nice about them is that you have something like, oh, let's see now, where is it? Three, two, one, one and a half. We have a half inch T, but for some reason I'm not finding myself looking at a half inch straight. Oh, there it is, because it's called one half schedule 40. Let's take a look at this piece here. As you can see, this piece and all the other pieces have this little line in the center. That line is used to define the center point of this empty space, which is kind of nice because it makes it easier to align these pieces when you're moving them around. If I want to connect these two then I can actually use my move tool index it to that crosshairs and then using my x-ray tool I can have it snap to the center line of the next piece and so these two pieces are exactly aligned to one another which is very nice so if I were you, I would in fact download this model and then use it for your PVC stock instead of using uh, custom models that you made yourself. Because these are, you know, these are very nice. You have T's, 45 elbows, connectors, and so on. So, definitely look it up in the 3D warehouse and you will find in fact that there are a lot of things a lot of useful models here these were made by Mintaka who has also made uh, quite a number of other useful components